Welcome back, and as we were just left off, we were questioning the other house, other housemates as to what they were doing here and basically who they are. All that's left is Jim. Let interrogation begin. So Jim, yes? What do you know about the mansion? Not much. You could always just see the roof above the playground wall. We used to tell each other it was haunted. Why? Were there any other stories or legends attached? Well, a friend of mine used to say a crazy hermit lived here. Who ate people and... Who killed people and ate them alive. Oh well, I'm certainly reassured. How did you come to be here? It was so stupid. We climbed over the wall, the school wall at lunchtime. Why? I wasn't there. I'm going to see how long it would take, take, take the school to find us. They would come across the, this old house. Which should dare me to knock on the door. It bit me a pound, I wouldn't do it. My school was like that. Got my collarbone playing pilot once. Shut up, Phil. What happened next? Well, it was about to knock on the door. But it opened by itself. I heard Richard dare me to take take a step inside. So you did and the door closed behind you and it wouldn't open again? Yeah. Hmm. Your friend friends didn't call the police or anything? How should I know? I guess they didn't since nobody came. That was on Wednesday. School probably known gone by gone now, I see. Tell me a bit about yourself. What? I don't know. Where were you before you came here? I was at St. Trinian's boarding school, not far from here. But my, my parents moved around a lot, you see. How old are you now? Nearly 16. That's all I want you to know. Okay. Now, does anyone can see, can anyone see the passing of these stories? Which passing would that be? See, seems to me the house only traps people individually. It didn't wrap and trap and some friends or Simone's camera crew. Just left us in one at a time. We're talking about the house like he's intelligent. Surely there's more likely there's just some joker behind us all. Maybe. But how did they know we were coming? How did they know to leave a window open for me, risking one of you to finding it? You think the house is haunted? I wouldn't use that word, but I definitely have an odd feeling. Like we're being watched, I suppose. Yeah. Every one of us amounts of rapping. I don't mean as. Excuse me? We're all looking up people in the house against their will and secretly filming them. Sounds like a national reality TV progressing. It's also highly illegal. Wouldn't stop some people. What? Where the hell AJ got to? I was hoping he'd be here. He's been doing some research on the house. He was going to share it with us tonight. Maybe someone should go look for him. What now? It's getting pretty late. I'm missing and feeling a bit tired. Feeling tired. Yeah, me too. But what about AJ? I don't know if there's any need to worry about now. He's <coughs> if he still hasn't turned up by morning, then we'll look for him. Oh, alright. We'll have to look for him as soon as we get up. Day two. What was that noise? We've just gone fainting. Oh, Jesus. No. Simone? Philip? Jim? Oh, God. Who did this? What the? You did this. Stay back. I'm warning you. Who are you? Mummy! Christ, I never dreamt of dream so vividly before. It was so disturbing. A 
let's just check things out, see if things are fine. Yep, everything's fine. Let's see what TV has to say today. Our top story this morning. Police are still baffled by the apparent disappearance of TV personality Simone Taylor. Miss Taylor was due to film a documentary about a notorious Defoe Manor, but her camera crew reported she, was n she never arrived. People have been investigating the building, but so far found no way to get inside. The Defoe solicitor, Michael, has, has the only key to the building that is currently unavailable. Miss Taylor's disappearance co coinciding with the disappearance of a local youth from a nearby boarding school simply add to the legend surrounding the mysterious Defoe Manor. Reports. Curiouser and curiouser. What have we doing here? And that fire is still going. And I think it's back in the background, but yet no notice of it. Up the stairs, matey. Locked still. Check out the animation. It's a portrait of aging man in a safari suit of life. Read. Read Sir Roderick Defoe. Keep an eye on that photo, on that picture. Jim Campbell, blah blah blah. blah, blah. Read it before. Jim! Hi, Mr. Trilby. Do you know where the others are? I don't know where Mr. Hartley is. Miss Taylor is up in the library. The library? On the second floor. I think she broke the door open or something. Thanks. What's she reading there? Treasure Island. I found it in the living room. How are you liking it? It's a bit heavy going. I prefer tape, that's it. Nice to know he's got some taste. How are you feeling? Okay, I guess. I had this really horrible night, horrible dream. Um, but you don't want to hear about it. You're taking this imprisonment very well, I must say. Well, it's not that different to boarding school, really. They said there's no one to hit you across the knuckles when you talk too much at night. Seen AJ anywhere? Not since yesterday morning. Is he pretty anxious about something? Did he, w did he say what? No. He said the bottom, something about getting to the bottom of all of this. He left the room and I never saw him again. Hmm. That's all. Okay, Mr. Trilby. And that is all for this recording. Stay tuned for the next part.